The next element you'll find in ski construction is barely noticeable here and that is because we are talking of very thin layers of laminates here. Now there's different sorts of laminates that can be used in skis. Uh, the main differentiation is metals and non-metals. For non-metals uh, you will typically find uh, fabrics and fabrics that are used in ski constructions are typically either carbon or glass fiber. Why use different fabrics? First of all, there's a big price difference between glass fiber and carbon. So carbon is a more expensive material, but carbon also delivers uh, very interesting uh, properties. Carbon is extremely light, carbon is extremely stiff, and uh, carbon is allowing you to build very stable skis. Glass fiber offers the same properties, but you either have to use a lot more uh, compared to uh, the amount of carbon you use in a ski or uh, you sacrifice on some of the characteristics. You can use a lot of different materials in the top and lower laminates. Uh, pretty much the ski engineer will decide the appropriate use and the appropriate amount of materials. Fabrics like this carbon here come in a variety of dimensions and fabric types. As you'll see here in the structure, we use a variety of weaves. Uh, typically, a lot of uh, stuff used in skis is so-called unidirectional weave, which means the fiber are directed along the ski axis, so the fibers would be uh, going from the tip to the tail. Uh, this is an example for a unidirectional carbon. A material like this one here, uh, where when looking into it, you will see that the fibers run in a different direction, will be a bidirectional or three-directional or quadridirectional uh, weave, which means that additional to the unidirectional fibers, you will have some fibers uh, going at 45 degrees, 60 degree angle, or even at 90 degree angle. Uh, you can pretty much have uh, fiber weaves built to spec, so pretty much as you want them in your ski. They will pretty much determine the flex characteristics in the, in the longitudinal way, so how the ski bends, but more importantly also in the torsional stability, so how the ski bends in torsion. Additionally, if we go from the fabrics to the metals, uh, you will find in most skis a metal called titanal. Titanal is an aluminium alloy that consists mainly of aluminium and then some uh, small amounts of titanium and, uh, and zinc. Why? This is mainly so that it bonds well with the other ski materials. Basically, titanal is a refined aluminium. You would use the metals in a very thin way. So we're talking of thicknesses of 0.3 to 0.6 uh, uh, millimeters in most, most uses, and also uh, in different fashions. Uh, you will find skis that have full length and full width metal, which means uh, the dimension of the metal is pretty much identical to the dimensions of your skis. You will have, find skis that use metals only partially or uh, in a milled out way, which is reducing some of the metal, uh, reducing also the weight accordingly, uh, but also lo losing some of, the, some of the performance advantages this metal delivers. And then there is another use of metal, and that is metal as a binding insert. Um, so pretty much as shown here, you would only use the metal in the, in the zone of the binding. And that is for metal drastically increasing the retention strength uh, of, of the binding screws in the ski. Uh, we've seen lab measurements that it probably quadruples uh, or up to quadruples uh, the retention uh, of the screws in the ski. Uh, so it's a very effective way to create a strong bond other than just screwing into uh, the fiber layers and the wood core.